Hey guys, I'm Jacob Lee, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Loom Cube. So, why the Loom Cube? This is a super cool little tool. It is a fantastic light source for photographers, uh, videographers, uh, or anyone that really just needs a really cool, durable, handy source of light. The only thing about this is, is it's almost a hundred dollars, which is kind of a hefty price tag for a lot of people, including me. I'm just kind of an amateur photographer, I'm not a professional. Um, this thing has way more functionality than I will ever use. So, what we're going to try to do is take it apart, see how it works, and then we're going to try to build our own. So without further ado, let's get into the guts of this thing. So, obviously, what you see first is the housing. Uh, one half, one part of it is aluminum, and the back part is plastic. Now, it might seem odd at first, but when you take it apart, they actually have a really good reason for doing this. So, when you take it apart, the next thing in there you're going to see is a circuit board and a battery. Uh, I'll roll in pictures right here so you can see them. What the circuit board consists of is a charging circuit, uh, probably a boost circuit, and a control circuit. The control basically just tells the light to go up or down in brightness when you push the buttons, turn on the device, turn it off, connect to your phone, stuff like that. The charging circuit obviously charges your battery and it probably has protection built into it so you don't overcharge or over drain your battery. The next thing it does, this is just a guess, but I am 99% sure this is what is going on. It boosts the voltage of the battery. Now the batteries look like lithium ions, they're probably 3.7 volts. LEDs, like what's used in here, usually require around 30 volts. So you have to boost that voltage up to get it to spit out enough brightness. Then last but not least, you have your LED. Now the LED is mounted on a metal plate and it is placed behind the little, uh, I don't know what you call it, the thing that shapes the light to, it sits in front of the LED. Anyway, the LED is mounted to a small metal plate and it, the plate may only look structural to hold the LED in place, but it actually serves an extremely important function that may not be readily apparent. These LEDs get very hot, and if they are not cooled appropriately, it can dramatically reduce the life. Obviously, that's not a good thing. You want this thing to last more than a few months, so what that metal plate does is it absorbs a lot of the heat from the LED, and while the metal plate isn't very large, it's connected to the aluminum body of the, L or of the loom cube. And what that allows is the heat from the LED can be dissipated to the aluminum body and go out into the environment. And so that keeps the LED nice and cool and lasting a long time. So just in a quick review, you have the aluminum body, you have the plastic back half, uh, you've got the control circuit, which includes the boost and the charging circuit. Um, you've got the battery, and you've got the LED with the metal plate on it. Now, if we wanna make our own, we want to think about what functions we want ours to have. Now this connects to your phone, it's waterproof, um, aluminum body, all those things are gonna increase the cost. Now, the most expensive part of this is, if I was just to guess, the aluminum body. So we wanna get rid of that. What's the cheapest thing we can do? 3D print it, right? So we're gonna have to figure out another way to cool that LED. You've got the battery. Batteries are easy. You can pick whatever size you want depending on how long you want it to last. You have your control circuit. Now what we're gonna do is probably break it up into a couple different pre-built circuits that we just have to wire together. You can get a uh, booster circuit, a DC-DC boost. Uh, a charging circuit, which usually includes protection for the battery, that's really important. And finally, the LED. Now, this was kind of tricky. When I took this thing apart and I looked at the LED, 
I looked all over DigiKey and Mouser and I could not find anything uh, that looked like this. So what I did is, of course, like anyone, I went to Reddit. Now they said this looked like an obsolete LED, like they had newer and better LEDs out now. So what we're going to do is just try to match the specs of what's on the LoomCube website with a newer, improved, better LED. So knowing all this, you can go ahead and start trying to pick out parts for your own, or you can tune in for the next video and see the parts that I picked out for mine and follow along and build your own with the same parts. So that's pretty much all that's inside of the Loom Cube. You can go ahead and figure out what's important to you uh, as far as what's involved in the Loom Cube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give it about the same battery life, um, put in brightness, uh, brightness adjust adjustment. We're going to 3D print a body and we're going to select a heat sink, install that, and we're going to try to make sure that the cooling isn't compromised and the LED stays nice and cool. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to be kind to someone today, and I will see you next time. Yeah, that was pretty good. Woo! This is hot. We should do a video on this. It's like solid aluminum. I think it's aluminum. It is really cool. It's a super, super nice design. If you're familiar with Aperture, you're like, Buh. yeah. Well, check that out, and it's heavy. It's like, you can knock someone out with this thing. It's crazy. There's your controls right there. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Yeah, this is warm. I love heat sinks. Like, it's super weird. I, I love just figuring out how to cool stuff. Just like, I liquid cooled my computer. I, it doesn't need liquid cooling at all. I just thought it was super cool. Honestly, it's getting a bit of a pain in the butt. I don't even overclock anything. Like, like I said, I don't need it. It just looks cool. Yeah. Woo. Toasty. You can put a Pop-Tart on there.